Chen, Chen, I was just going to say real quick, like just for me, like personally, like yeah. when we do like smaller venues, yeah. it's a little more nerve wracking and I get a little more nervous, I think, versus like the big, the big, big shows. And I don't know why. You would think it would be the other way around, but it's kind of like when you're on display, like Chickens. right there in the front. You know, it's, is it because you can see well, it like every you can see everybody? Yeah, like all the audience. Like, you know, yeah. at you. Nick, we were having a I know conversation. Chickens. I'm saying you're chicken when you go on stage. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good link up, man, because he was saying exactly that as you pointed that out. Yeah, that was solid. Appreciate that, Nate. I said yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, light outside now, but in China, I think it's like, you know, nine or ten o'clock at night. But we're in Philadelphia here yes. right now. Do you guys, you guys like it here? Have you performed here before? We've done a couple yes. of uh, yeah. rehearsals yeah. here before. We have, a lot of, we have a lot of history in Pennsylvania. Um, in the United States, Pennsylvania was one of the first states that was exposed to our music and accepted our music. And also, before we were ever signed to a record label, we did school tours yeah. out in the countryside in Pennsylvania to high schools, middle schools, elementary schools. Um, so Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, uh, all the small towns have been very, very good to the Backstreet Boys in our career. No way. Interesting. Yeah, when we Interesting. come to Pennsylvania, we know we at least hit three places. We're always in like Philly, uh, Pittsburgh, Hershey Park. Go Steelers, Hershey baby! Park. Not here. No, that's right. Big Ben retired. Oh, my God. Um, but, uh, wow. So you guys are you guys are also in preparation for, to go on tour, right? Yes. Yep. And how many yeah. tour locations are you doing? Ooh, we got... 52, I think, 52 shows in the States, in the US. Yeah. Well, in the US and Canada, North America, North America. Holy and then we go to Europe, we have another, and then like we go 38 to, in Europe, I think, Brazil, Brazil. Brazil. then we South go Asia. to South America, Australia. and then yeah. we go to Australia, and then we're, we're coming gonna, uh, to China, try to get to China. then to China last, wow, we keep having to push our dates back because of, Got we're it. gonna get there, <laughs> we are, and are you guys, like, at the end of a tour like that, are you just, like, dead, you're going to the, like, dead on arrival or you, no, you still have every, energy at that point? Every single uh, country that we go to, you know, just excites us and yeah, it re-energizes you know, yeah, re us because it's a different because experience. It's a different ex every fan base is different. They give a different energy. It takes um, you a while after a, after a certain leg to kind of decompress, but we also now have a really healthy balance because we all have families. True. We try to schedule things that don't kill us on the road, like not... <laughs> five shows in a row and stuff like that. We really try to pace ourselves. So it's fun and it's enjoyable. And our families come out with us most of the time. So it really is a family affair for us, you know? It's like being on like a boat or like a bus, how you have to get your sea legs or your, or your bus your legs. Bus legs. <laughs> and it's always moving. And when you get off and you come back home, it still feels like it's moving, but you're not moving when you're back home. It's true. Ah, yeah. That's <laughs> it's an true. interesting way to describe it, man. That's very interesting. Well, I heard a few of you guys say that like you're big Lincoln fans, you know, uh, two of you guys own Navigators um, or have owned Navigators in the past. Uh, we got some pictures back here. Oh, I yeah. think they're with Kevin. If you guys can take a look at it, that's the current Lincoln lineup. Uh, we got a Navigator in there. We got the Nautilus Ooh. SUV. We got the limo. The we got the Z. And then we got the 1939 yeah, Z, Old School Zephyr. Way. What? 1939? 1939, man. Z is sweet. Wow. Right? That's the midsize, Howie. I'm picking this one. I'm yeah. Going, I'm going Aviator. I'm going Z. Aviator. I'm going Z. This oh, sorry, Nautilus. Not the Aviator. The I'll take the and limo. don't they make an Aviator as well? Like this is got the limo. They do. I think in China, though, these are the, these are the things oh, they they're rocking with, except is, for the Zephyr. Not okay. the, sorry, the white one? It looks just like Aviator. The white one, baby. I love this one. Right on. Brian, why do you choose the Navigator, man? Why are you... It's just sleek and it's it's sharp. It's luxurious. It you know you can have all of your friends and all of your family. Yeah, I mean it's like it's top notch. I mean I've I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time. I like the uh, yesteryear edition. You know yeah. that came out like when you were little. Yeah. And when they reintroduced it with the new design, I was just like, it's perfect. It's awesome, man. Yeah, like I said, my parents had that when I was a kid. I'm a huge fan of the Navigator. Yeah. Huge fan. And you the other thing is safety. You ever ever get in an accident with this bad boy? You, you don't have to worry oh, about yeah. your, your family, <laughs> yeah, totally. right? Yeah, you're safe. That's a big thing. Uh, Nick, what what about you? What do the you? The Nautilus. It, first, I, it looked like the Aviator, and I know the Aviator really well. Um, but it has like it's kind of a mixture between sport and SUV, and I like that. Um, 
and also, you know, I have kids, you know, so you could be safe with your kids, but also kind of have a little bit of the sport car oh, feel. Um, any, anything that I got three kids. I should have chose the Navigator, actually. Brian, you want this one? No, I only have three kids. No, no, but I like big cars. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not a big guy, but I love big cars. You know, yeah, I, I, mean, I, do I like, like to have a lot of headroom. I like to have a lot of space, and it just makes you feel more safe. Absolutely, man. Safety is huge, man. Safety is huge. Interesting, Nick. Okay, man. Got it. And then, uh, Kevin, what are you, what are you thinking, man? Which one do you grab? The classic, old <laughs> school. Thirty-nine, baby. That's Kevin. That is Kevin. Nice. He's the classic, he's the old, classic old school. Old school. Zephyr. He's the classic it's, in the band without having to say it. Hey, let's wait for these girls, it's beautiful. guys. beautiful. Look at the lines. Hey, guys, where are the Backstreet Boys? It's the Backstreet Boys, guys. Like, who? <laughs> like, She's like, like the car. Who? <laughs> no, they thought we were Westlife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I, I picked the Lincoln Z. I like any, any kind of coupe, uh, especially like a four-door coupe. Um, I like to go fast. I like the kind of sports car feel. I love the lines on it. And again, being a family man, I do like having a sedan because it's got that sport feel, but you can also fit the whole family in there comfortably. So I went with the Z, baby. Right on. Yeah, because a two-door sports car, it's just hard, right? Like It is a lot of you know, awkwardness getting in and out of the car, but now with the four-door, it works out quite well. Right Howie? And I picked the Lincoln Limousine. <laughs> Are you driving it, though? <laughs> well, this is what I was going to say. And a driver, because I have to confess <laughs> that we are on tour so much that when I come home, you my wife drive. says I forget to learn how to drive. <laughs> and so she wants me to like to she, she lets so me drive for like a day or so, it's and she's so like, you, you can't drive anymore. You've been you've been chauffeur too long. <laughs> so I would take the limousine with the chauffeur because that's how we do it. No, right. no, no, the truth, no, 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 no. Hold on, don't lie, Howie. The truth is. Howie is the star of the band, so he needs to be escorted around. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's are we, awesome. Where are we going now? Are we there yet? Man, are we still I going hope to so. The venue? Like, we're still, we're still going to the venue. Are we're still going to the venue. Our own traffic? We got a little traffic jam coming on here right now. <laughs> we're still a little bit of traffic jam. That's right. We got a good signal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hammock. This is uh, this is interesting that we've never driven out. We've been here multiple times and never driven into this. Yeah, we've all never. The way. Really? We've always, we've always, we always been working. at like night times. So you don't really see anything. We work all see day it. and we never get to go out in the. Oh you know, yeah. It's such a cute little town. It's beautiful, right? It really yeah, is. Absolutely it's beautiful. It's like a fairy tale yeah. town. It is. It doesn't yeah. look real. It's yeah. Like Pleasant Valley. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I've seen some pictures of when where Ben Roethlisberger lives with his family. Yep. It looks exactly like this, wow. yeah, well, like is. on a yep. larger spread. But um, Big Ben, it's so sad. I know. Man. I mean, dude, he had 18 great freaking years, man. But I actually married into a Steelers family. I wasn't a big football fan, and now <laughs> I have to be, or I'm going to get kicked out of the family. So uh, the Steelers all the way. No choice. No so choice. You're a Pennsylvanian. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, do, I do want to see Tomlin smile just just one time. Just he one time. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He's a coach. <laughs> well, who's who's the QB for next year? I don't know, man. I think they got a young guy that was there before, but I don't know if they well, got Well, our someone. second string No, is, I think they drafted someone. Yeah, I'm they did sure draft, yeah, we did just draft someone. I don't know his name or where we got him from. but Kevin, this reminds me of Kentucky, man. You know, when you look at the grass and yep. just the outbuildings and the houses and stuff, it reminds me of where... Kevin and I grew up. Is anybody, really? Is anybody yeah. hungry? I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What's your What's your guys like go to Chinese food? Like, do you oh, have any crispy favorites? Duck. Crispy, oh, duck. crispy duck. Crispy yeah. duck. I like the, the hot skin, pies. and we put the plum oh. sauce oh, on, yeah. the, yeah. on the. Is it? What are the little? Uh, the bread. Uh, they're not dumplings, but the little the pancake thing. soft yeah. pancake yeah. things, yeah. and you put the crispy skin, oh, yeah. and then the duck, I like crab mm -hmm. and then the plum sauce. Yep. Crab, no, crab, crab rangoon. noodles. They get the yeah, best noodles cheese. in the world over there. <laughs> yeah, crab, crab rangoon. What's crab noodle. rangoon? It's like a, it's like it's a fried, American version of Chinese food. Yeah, it's like an American, it's American version, but it's it's like uh, crab and then uh, cream cheese, and it's fried. In a wonton. It's like a, yeah. it's like a oh, okay. jalapeno popper boy. Uh, it's an Americanized. I, just, I like it's really very Americanized. We really take everything and ruin it. Like Szechuan, anything Szechuan is is the best. Like Szechuan noodles. Do you ever do the hot pots? Oh, that's that's like the most unique Chinese food I think. Yes. What do you guys? Hot pot's so yeah. good. Yeah. I don't even so have that. 
Are there any hot pots so where you live? Dude, it is so good. It's spicy. Nice Japanese. Not where I no, live. No, no, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> where I live. Hot pot is, yeah. um, hot pot is the Chinese Because you're, you're in Florida. Shabu 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 is, yeah, oh, you're in Georgia. Yeah, you're in Georgia. Gotta, 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 gotta. And I learned that because My sister lived in Jacksonville. She worked for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So it's right near the Georgia border there, you know. So I went to like Sea Island and that kind of stuff. That beauty, Georgia's beautiful, man. Oh sheets. my god, we got sheets. Here we, we go. Sheets. Oh, oh, sheets. What's a sheets? What's a sheets? It's like a 7 Eleven. Oh, <laughs> sheets. Wait, do you guys like when you're in, when you've gone to China before, because the food is so good there, do you guys like seriously, do you, do you guys ever gain weight when you're in no, China? No, actually, see, it's really healthy, in, in my opinion, like over there. Like, I just, the way that they prepare it, it's not so many preservatives. It, it's not as much preservatives. I, just, I eat it so hot and spicy that I can't keep it in me. <laughs> yeah, right. oh. Just shoots right through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like an That's a good strategy. Yeah. See you, Mike. Are we actually refueling? Looks I will fun. never. I will never forget. We went Just to um, Shanghai, and I ordered. You know, we're from America, so I ordered fish. I thought I was gonna get like just whatever, like fish fillets or something yeah and they brought out this entire fish with this head and everything oh yeah whiskers and stuff i still ate it it was good but i was pretty <laughs> surprised still, when it came out it was like the whole fish the whole thing i yeah. appreciated it you guys remember that what's that remember they ordered that fish one time? Time? you want me to pump yeah. yeah. that would be great <laughs> that would be great have a parachute <laughs> boy fill my car up that yeah that probably will never happen again really oh. that'll never happen again <laughs> Wait a minute, should I keep driving? Everybody now. Is that you, Howie? Damn. Guys, That's... we made it. We have we a, made, you have we arrived at your destination. <laughs> you may now excellent Thank job. you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice Great driving. Great line. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank Thank you. You. Glad, glad you survived. <laughs> Thanks for, for your first safety, bro. Not bad. <laughs> no uh, child locks on. Thank God. Here we Let's are. Let's go, boy. There we go. We are here. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Cartier. Under here. And thank you, well, Howie, for not goosing me every time I get out. Let's do this, Studio Two. Have you guys ever practiced here before? Yeah, yeah before? once before. Yes, yep. Really? 2019 at the beginning of the tour. <coughs> this exact sound stage, or? Uh, yeah. 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 So, All right. Actually, ladies first. Nick. 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 It's very apropos. Ah! <laughs> Real men third. <laughs> All right, as you see, production yes, starts yeah, here. Yes, I designed this whole thing. Um, they called me personally for no. the architecture. You did not. No, you didn't. It's like deja vu. It really looks great. Tight shoes. Deja no. Deja. No. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay, wow. So we're coming in here. I see uh, production. What, what goes yep. on in here, guys? Everything. Literally everything. Logistics. Yeah. Um, administration. Logistics. Um, planning. Uh, prep printing. Uh, Computing, yep. uh, yeah. It's basically our entire foundation of our show starts with production, with our production yep. manager, our production assistant, from lighting to staging to rigging to all of it happens Advanced with our work, production, all of it. Yeah, so wow. they're the real foundation of our show. Holy cow. Yeah, guys, this is like, so they're doing the work and the film are all in this place. So they're preparing the work and the film are all in this place. So they're preparing the work and the film are all uh, and then that, I smell some good food oh, cooking. Yeah. 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 That's what we hear in our hot pot today. That's hot. <laughs> I wish. Oh, sorry. I wish. I don't know. Yeah. And do you guys eat any special diets when you're touring? Because uh, we you, try to eat, eat healthy. Try to. Try and have to. a cheat day here and there. Because we want to stay in shape, and look good, and, and, and have energy for the shows. We're burning a lot of calories. Right. So we got to yeah. fuel ourselves. A ton of calories. But we try to so. eat healthy. Don't get me wrong, there is a dessert table back there. Yeah, it's very we tempting. We try to stay away from it as much as possible. Haven't done it yet, but we'll see what right. happens. Every so often it does happen. <laughs> but you know, we're not 18 anymore, so yeah. it's, good yeah. to, it's good to be healthy mind, body, and soul. Yes. You know? uh, right on, right so, on. Well, I mean, you guys are basically like athletes, what you're doing. Like, yeah, I mean, uh, we take it like we're athletes. Uh, two hours a, sh uh, a night on stage, um, you know, it's constant energy being exerted. We train on days off, um, you know, we're feeding ourselves uh, properly, getting massages, getting like chiropractors. I mean, we're a little <laughs> bit older now, so you know we have to take care of our, our bodies. For sure, yeah. man, for sure. So who's giving who the massages here? Um, Nick, <laughs> how he gives me a massage all the time. Nick just really? got, yeah, Nick, 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 Nick is yeah. my guy. He's really? Nice. He does I'm really good at massages. He's got I'm very good. 
got the strongest hands? You just use your elbow. That's all you got to use your elbow. Just dig all the way in there. Use your hands, don't lie. Yeah, elbows, baby. Just dig in. Nice. And then we got... Bathrooms right here. Bathrooms with the way We leave ourselves. And then, very nice, very nice. And then what's going on here? Wardrobe. Road cases. Yes. Some of us everywhere. All of our clothes. Travel with us on tour. Plenty of room. We got drawers. Yep. Uh, oh, check this out. Bed. Look, at this. Look at what we got right here. This is the most important thing. Oh, yes. Underwear. 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 Oh. Underwear. <laughs> uh, no. Do you guys change like multiple times per concert or? No, Not our no, underwear. One pair of underwear. One pair. Yes. Uh, don't, don't pay attention. Yeah. on the, the interwebs. The EDS, yes, yes. It might yes, be a little small. We have wardrobe <laughs> right here. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of quadrons. No, it's just the uh, evil, evil, the evil boom, man. Yeah. You guys yeah. is like resting room. You're yeah, like, yeah, this That's where we get ready for the show. We do our show. vocal warm ups and all the things and kind of just chill before the show. And then as soon as we're done, we come back, we change, and we just kind of wind down, take a shower. Sure. Whatever, unless we do a quick out, in which case we go right from stage to the car, straight to the hotel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, sometimes yeah. with an escort. Well, sometimes with an escort. With a Lincoln. Hopefully. Got it. With a Lincoln. 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 Sometimes right. we're in a Lincoln. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> wow. and you guys all in the same room, or you guys have five separate rooms? Uh, that depends. No, no, we haven't gotten there yet. Two. Uh, this is for uh, me, Brian, and uh, AJ. Yeah. Yeah. And then Kevin and I. We decided to take dressing room number two because we're the oldest. Two. Oh, and we're the neatest. And we are the cleanest. What oh, the else? We fold our we clothes. Relax. Oh, you walk in okay. Nick's room, there's clothes everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> AJ's clothes everywhere. I've gotten like better. Got better. He's gotten better. <laughs> we, got, we play Zen music in our room. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We're like, it's almost like a spa. Yeah. Really? That's like a kid's place. We play, play Bone room. Thugs and Harmony. We walk yeah. in, it's like, we're playing hip hop in our room. Yeah, we're playing hip hop. I think like so Howie, Howie and <laughs> Kevin, they are very, very similar to the clean and clean. So they have their own space. Yes, for sure. There are other three people in the room. This is the first space. Oh my god. Very calm. And then, guys, over here is makeup. Yes. It was today. Kind of have makeup. For today, when we're shooting a TV thing. Yeah, we have makeup. But yeah, that's dressing room number two. They took Howie and I's dressing room. Yeah. Got it. We're the nice ones. So maybe it's your quad ones, yeah. And then this is your... Seamstress. 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 She's doing some alterations because we have a live gig coming up uh, yeah. in next yeah. week. And, yeah, next week. Uh, yeah, she's yeah, also expanding that. my clothes because uh, yeah, we had a little time off. Uh, got it. Got it. Got now it. Comes got the it. Best, the best part. Here's the best part. This wow. is. This is the, the show stage. before the show. So this is the sound stage where we've been rehearsing and we're going to perform for you guys a little bit later. Yeah. But we don't want to show you too much. Nope, don't do want it. to give away the match. Hey, we got to go get changed. We got to go get changed. You guys yes. got to go get changed. Well, thank you so much for thank the you. intro to your place. Thank you, man. The fans really appreciate <laughs> it, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wash his underwear for sure. Zai Chen. Zai Chen. Oh my God. Okay, guys.